Good morning guys and welcome back. Today we are out on the road up at Newark Air Museum and we're going to be joined by a friend. So our friend has arrived. Let me introduce you to Brendan. How are you guys? All right? <laughs> so if you haven't checked out Brendan's channel, it's at Brendan Explores. He's with us today. We're here, as I said earlier, at the Newark Air Museum. We're going to have a little look around and then we're going to head off and do a few more bits today. So I suppose we should start by having a little look in uh, Brendan's van. Yeah, come on. I'll open up the back end for you. There we go. So you, you built this all yourself then? That's the back of the van. That's the back of the van, sorry. <laughs> it's not as expansive as yours. Well, you know, you know, but there you go, it does the job. The back of the van. Yeah, that's the van. It, 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 does, it does the job though. It does the job. You know, yeah. you don't have, obviously you don't have a shower and such like, but... Well, we're at the right time of year yeah. now where I haven't had to use the diesel heater last night. So I stayed, well, we both stayed, where did you guys stay last night? Oh, we were lucky. We've got residents or friends ah, up here. Nice. So we're able to stay with them. Well, I was stayed right next to uh, a river bank in Nottingham and there was boy races and motorbikes going past. Oh, lovely. Oh. So, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. But it was nice and comfy in the van. Yeah. It's a shame we didn't sleep much. Hence well, why the bags underneath the eyes and well, the messy hair around. But we had, we had trains going past, which was not much better, to be oh fair. But, at least but, we were fed. But, yeah. but, but we were comfy enough and it was fine. Enough. But yeah. That's all right then, that's all right. So yeah. But no, I'm excited to uh, be with Matt and Anita now. And um, it's our first ever official camp, isn't it? I mean, yeah. we've obviously met each other at festivals yep. and stuff. Yep. Uh, which is great, you know, but you never really get that like time to be able to what do, I, what do I want to call it? Bonding time. Well, oh, yeah, yeah down, down time. Yeah, ch yeah, chance to actually sort of, you know, just chill out and, because yeah, you, yeah. you know, you're, you're always trying to look around the events or something's going on, you know, whereas now yeah, it's kind of yeah. downtime and chilled out, isn't it? Yeah, although, you know, we've had a, a good chat with some of the people around and there's some lovely cars about. There's a bit of a car meet on today. Yeah. As, as usual, whenever I get a camera out and start, the traffic decides it wants to come past or a plane wants to go over or boats want to set off their, their horns, etc. And yeah. today, this lot turned up. And let's just say, they weren't quiet. Although, quite nice to see. Right, we're going to head on in and have a little look round. So we just stood underneath one of the falcons, which is quite a big old bit of kit. Certainly is a lot bigger in person than when you see them on the TV, that's for sure. They even got some of the bombs that it would drop. I think it was used in the Falklands, but I'm not 100%. If anybody knows who it was, please sort of comment below. Yeah, so Brendan's doing really well. I'm sure he's trying to offend all of his viewers today. <laughs> Accusing people of being anoraks. Yeah, what a great idea. Yeah. For anyone who's actually interested in this video, who's actually clicked on it to see some kind of plane, just defend yeah. 80% of the people that are watching. Yeah. yeah. You watch your subscriber count dump now. <laughs> you have all the planes <laughs> pass. Like... I do like helicopters. They're quite cool. Really, these have seen better days. Well, looks like we can go on them, so uh, hopefully, unless they've There's shut off. Yeah, another one over what? there. What? Yes, <laughs> yeah. People aren't coming this far down the field, they're all down the other end with the one where they seen that the, the steps are down on. Have you got much experience in flying planes? Um, only in flights, and I'm not very good at that. <laughs> Oh, disappointment. Oh. Yeah. Well, well, that ruined that idea. We got all excited for nothing. Never know. One of the other ones might be open. Yeah. Planes inside. It's held together by a 
Oh, you just feel so you, you would feel so safe in that, wouldn't you? I reckon that's had a few crashes, <laughs> especially with the wooden propeller. I <laughs> said so some of the uh, early people that decided to take up flight, brave, brave, crazy people. Look at this thing. You just sit at the front there. Just 1908. Yeah. 1908, a while ago. I don't know what feels more worrying. Maybe taking the flight in that, or taking the flight in that. Of the design of one of the I, I guess ever. so. Yeah. What we got? Who was the name of the chap? Or the, or the chaps? The Wright brothers. The Wright, Wright brothers. brothers. That's right. <laughs> hey, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. That looks like a miniature of it. Got a couple of the ejector seats here. They don't look particularly comfy, I'm not gonna pretend they do. I suppose there's a choice they'd rather be in that than not. Even Popeye's made an appearance. Amazingly, it sits three. It'll be a bit compact and comfortable, I can assure you, but there are definitely three seats in there. Okay. Some of these helicopters are quite small. Obviously, that was a model, but. And then we've got the ramjet missile. So pre-computers, looks like they would have used a mechanical simulator. Is this thing here? Back in 1942. We can only assume that it moves with the controls. But yeah, quite small. I would say it's something maybe a little bit bigger to train in, but I suppose it doesn't have to be because it's actually going to fly. Oh, I'm going to get to get in a plane. This should be fun. All right, I'll pick you back up once I'm in. So this is pretty cool. I feel like I'm sat at home on my computer. I'm really glad there's a wide angle lens because it is quite tight. <laughs> You're certainly not getting up and walking around whilst in here but it's very cool. Well, yeah. that was really cool. Now for Brendan to try and get in. He's a little bit taller. Yeah, 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 oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what it is a bit, it? It is a bit. Oh, how on earth did pilots ever? Quickly get in. Yeah, quickly, yeah. Right, let me see if I can. Right, with a squeeze. There you go, and he just squeezes in. Wow. Cozy, isn't it? Yeah, very cozy. I can only imagine how claustrophobic it would feel once that's down. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. I mean, some of the pilots would have been in this cockpit for hours on end. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I wonder how far an aircraft like this could go without refueling. Any ideas? It's about 2,000 miles. 2,000 miles? Okay. But that's not a long time because these things shift. Yeah, they're 960 odd mile an hour. So two hours? About two or three hours now. But there's also a mid-air refueling capability. Right, okay. So okay. The right hand side it comes out to refuel. I get you. Yeah. And what particular aircraft is this then? Jaguar GR1. Jaguar GR1. First generation Jaguar. And where were they last in service? 2007 they came out of service. Okay. So. And that, that variant there is still a variant. Which is, it's up this one here, yeah? Yeah. 
Right, okay. Right, there's the store in 91. Okay. Ground attack. Okay. So this is like a mainly me mechanical kind of... Yeah, it's all analogue. Yeah, it's all, all analogue, whole system, yeah. Whole system's analogue. So main, mainly surface to air rather than air to air? Uh, no, this is air to ground. Okay. So these are built, um, so they've got twin 30 mil cannons that carry bombs, rockets, uh, thermonuclear bombs as well for ground attack targets. Yeah. Okay. And the later variants for self defence had a missile on, mounted on top of the wing each side. Okay. They had no protective, they had no protective armament. It was only for attack, so the, um, the other variants, they had to have, a, like these variants, had to be escorted by fighters to protect them. Right, okay. And then later on, they put the missiles on the wings for self defence, so they could, so at least they've got something to fight back at, sidewinder on each side. Got ya. And here we have the Harrier jump jet. Very famous for all the Falklands. This There we go. Looks quite cool in person. The first vertical flight plane. And did it make a difference? Oh yes. Now, now while this is a museum, seeing signs like this, I'm sure it's not armed, but there we go. It's one of those things that we seem to take for granted, flight travel, and just being able to get on a plane and fly to a foreign country, almost, it's just what we do. Whereas these people, when they first started doing this, they were pioneers and yeah, we, it'd be a very different place in the world if it wasn't for those guys. It would seem that this place has been built on an area called RAF Windfall, I think they pronounce it. They do have a memorial here to the Bomber Squadron. And as always, we do like to pay our respect to those that fought for us to give us our freedom. So we're here to pay our respects. And that's us finished at the Newark Air Museum. We're now heading over to Lincoln. Gonna head up to the castle and the cathedral. I'll pick you up there. <laughs>